ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Welcome everybody. It is Wednesday night. You are on Facebook. You are looking at kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, kitchen door yeah. catering. <laughs> I'm Chef Ben. This is Chit Chat Shop. I'm joined tonight by our guests, Dr. Ben and Dr. Ashley from Cornerstone Naturopathic. Guys, thank you so much for coming on. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Our pleasure. And today we are cooking keto woo, woo, chicken woo. parm. Yeah. yeah. So, before we get into this, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'd like you to go. Ladies first. Ladies first? Yes. All okay. of the gentlemen. Um, <laughs> Why did everyone laugh? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Dr. Ashley. Um, I believe that you can have it all. I just also firmly believe that you get to define what having it all means to you. So I help women and men who are chasing their dreams define that and move forward with it and not let their health hold them back. So I do. You lost me already. <laughs> <laughs> read, the sub, read the subtitles. Read the subtitles. Don't you have subtitles? <laughs> I, uh, I make people feel their best okay. and help them continue to feel their best. Okay. There you go. That makes sense. Okay. And you, yeah. Dr. Ben? I work with people who want to live longer, ultimately. Um, when it comes down to what I do, I treat a lot of pain, and I treat pain, and I do cosmetic work. Okay. Because it's pretty much the same thing. Very cool. Same techniques, different parts of the body. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. A lot of injection techniques and things like that. And you, so you guys are naturopaths. Yeah. And what yep. exactly does that mean? So naturopath the way that we look at naturopathic medicine is we look at it from what most people will know is a functional medicine perspective. So we look at where your body is compensating and what your lifestyle is playing into it, and how your sleep and your movement are playing into it. And then we try and figure out working within what works for that person to write it. So instead of giving somebody a pill to be like, here, take this because you're not feeling great all the time, it's okay, let's understand why you're not feeling great all the time and then try and fix it from that level. So it's a like a individually tailored approach from a whole body perspective and like And really exactly. to get to the root yeah. cause. How did you down their face? So well. Good detective yeah. work. And root yeah. cause, which is what Ben just said. Root cause and then using evidence based natural treatments. Yeah. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then getting results. Okay. I like it. So let's start getting some results with the food. Uh, Dr. Actually, Ashley, you have a little bit of an advantage over Dr. Ben because you have had... We compete with everything else, by the way. And so I pleasure. every single could, time. Like, my score count is way up if there. You could, if you could grade us and score us... I absolutely will. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> but you've had the, the pleasure of attending one of the cooking classes I we have. do here. Yeah, um, I actually incredibly was lucky. in this spot. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> I heard that you had a very charming teacher, so I'm sure you'll do very well. I don't know. I wasn't that great. Oh. Okay, Dr. <laughs> ben, you've just moved point, up the... Point, point for me. Point okay. for me. Okay. Uh, somebody want to chop the parsley. <laughs> okay. And then somebody else want to come over and we'll chop the oregano. Right. Which one do you want? Well, you keep moving. I'll work over here. All right. I'll so, take a knife, though. Oh. Thank you. I know. Okay, so let's talk about keto. Yes. Because that's what we're doing here. We're just mincing this, right? Yep. Okay. So what exactly is a keto diet? Keto diet is an evidence-based, high-fat, moderate protein, ultra-low carbohydrate diet. So when we say high-fat, if you're a female and you're trying to lose weight, you're going to be eating about 100 135 grams of fat per day. That seems, that's like a lot of fat. It's a lot of fat. It scares a lot of people. But it's ultra low sugar, which means you're not having grains, breads, fruit. So okay, so it's a high fat diet, and what's what's going on? Like, how is it helping people lose weight or feel better? So when you're in a high fat state, it's called ketosis. Okay. And so basically, what your liver is doing is instead of using glycogen. Um, and glucose is its main source of energy, it's breaking down the fat that's already present in your body to make that energy so that it can use it then. So instead of using sugar, which is very easy for your body to use, but you don't lose a lot of energy or use up a lot of energy in making it, you're going to use fat. Okay. So you change your fuel source. Gotcha. It's like using gasoline versus diesel. So instead of burning carbs, you're burning, burning fat. fat. You're burning fat for fuel as your primary source, yeah. which is very opposite of what people do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. 
Yeah. Most of the time we use carbohydrates. So how does that affect your like mind and body? Like, what's that doing to you? So interestingly, the original research on keto actually started in 1920. And it was, and it was used was as a treatment kids. for, for autism, epilepsy. Or epilepsy. Uh, for epilepsy. epilepsy. Yeah. The kids that they had difficult to control seizures, put them on keto, and seizure numbers dropped dramatically. And it's like a 50% success it's rate. It's very yeah. successful. And it's been it's studied at like John Hopkins yeah. still. Yeah. It's used. Yeah. yeah. Very successful. And then, and then it kind of came, went away, because drugs got a lot better. And then in the 2000s, research started happening again, and that was done more on cardio or cardiac markers, cholesterol, triglycerides, weight. Yeah. So now we see it with metabolic syndrome, and that's where the weight loss part of keto really came in, because it's like, hey, this is highly effective at losing weight. Yeah. But it's also great for the brain. The original research is for the brain. So 60% of your brain is made up of fat. The other 40% is water. And so if you don't have enough fat in your diet, or if you're not utilizing it correctly, then your brain doesn't function as well. So you get brain fog, you get fatigue, you get those mid-afternoon crashes, yep. um, because your brain just isn't getting what it needs. So we're actually going to just pull, okay. I was wondering, I was just going yeah, so to wait until stop talking if we want to do some. Oh, yeah, just pull those okay. there. And I just realized I forgot the chicken in the fridge. So, so he's going to go get that. You guys we'll just let it warm to room temp. Always let the meat yeah. warm to room temp before cooking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just subbing in while uh, doc, well, Chef Ben. Uh. I think we're even on scores now. <laughs> oh, perfect. perfect. Oh, now I'm all flustered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, crap. So, how did you guys get into this? Like, how did you get interested in naturopathy? I, you went to school, obviously. Yeah. There's, so, so there's started as one school in Ontario, then one opened in BC, then so there's only two five in, in the States. There's five in the States. Okay. And Dr. Ben, I noticed that you're on the website for the Canadian National Naturopathic Yeah, embarrassingly Olympic enough, they put me team. on they put me on the Olympic yeah, the Olympic page. Sure. I don't I can't remember <laughs> what the site's called. It's, it's the, the featured official. alumni basically of the college. Yep. They gotcha. put me on because um Doctor Ashley sent started, a little bitter about that. Yeah. No, it's okay. We, um, give, I'll give him one. <laughs> we started one of the first uh, residency programs for naturopathic doctors. Okay. So one thing I find lacking in the profession is a lack of um, evidence-based residencies. So if you're in mainstream medicine, you do a residency when you graduate from med school. Yep. But in natural, which essentially is like an basically, basically you get yeah. to learn you're, from somebody who's been you're doing under it for someone's a long time. tutelage. Yeah. So the, yeah, we I'm didn't have so much that. Quicker than I am. Oh, you didn't use it all. No. It's I okay. Want it the, I didn't want the, the uh, tough stem at the bottom. All do you right. want to eat that? No, I don't want to eat that. Oh, fiber. I don't know. No? Um, so, yeah, they, they put me up there because we created a residency program, which actually was actually the first first one through. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, she keeps on saying. so, they pulled me in basically when I was in my third year and said, of medical school and said, you know, we used to come in after you graduate four-year program um but so i got into naturopathic medicine via an ex-boyfriend's mom <laughs> let's hear the whole story the best story ever but i did my undergrad in nutrition hence the food side of things and was like okay so i want something that's not necessarily mainstream i want to be able to be creative with my patients i want to be able to interact with my patients like i don't just want to give a pill because it says i need to give a pill I want to be able to actually look at the evidence and look at the research and say, okay, this is best suited because of this. And so I was major in nutrition, I did a minor in business, um, and ex-boyfriend's mom was like, have you ever heard of this? I thought she was crazy. Um, and then I went and researched it and proved myself wrong and accepted, put an application on the last possible day and accepted on the last possible day and never looked back. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Adam? So a few health conscious people here. We have Linda yeah. Pierce right. of uh, Culture Coach. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi, Linda. So we have Chris, Christine Gillis is a Beachbody coach. Oh, She's all about that. Um, and we have Thomas Koshinoff, who was my trainer. Sorry, Thomas, I'm not a very good, uh, I don't look like you're a very good trainer, but he's a fantastic trainer. <laughs> and I have, and I have, it's been a few years. Anyways, and we have Katie Mack who wants to ask, what are the healthiest fatty foods to eat on the keto diet? Avocados. Avocados are some of the healthiest for sure, and they're a fiber powerhouse. So one avocado is going to get you about 11, 13 grams of fiber, which is huge. Yeah. Because most people lack a ton of fiber. They do keto, they're doing bacon and hamburgers and all that, and then they get constipated. So avocados are awesome. And then coconut oil, fat bombs. Fat bombs are your friend. You cannot do keto 
without doing making fat bombs, and which is a ton of coconut oil. What we generally see with most people is they're like, all right, I'm on keto, I can eat as much meat as I want. We want to increase your fat, not necessarily overload you on protein. Yeah. 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 I think that's the first time somebody said constipated on this show. <laughs> so what you're saying Can we draw a diagram? We need, to, we need to be able to draw some diagrams. Exactly, because what happens <laughs> is your liver takes up everything, and then it turns it into bile, and then you have to have fat in your system for your gallbladder to contract. If you're not pooping every single day, then everything that goes into your digestive tract comes right back into your system. So fiber is so important because especially when we talk about hormones, like if you can't get rid of your hormones, then it's yeah. not going anywhere. And I find the best way to describe it that people understand is if you're not getting rid of it, you're now composting your waste. Yeah. And we all know what that turns into, right? So if you don't empty your green bin for about three or four days, what's happening? It stinks. Right? Yeah. So think about what's happening inside and colon cancer is the fastest rising cancer in North America. Especially in women. Especially in women. And yeah. the, so you should have about 30 to 45 grams of fiber per day. The average intake is about 12 <laughs> to 13 grams. Okay, you guys ready? We should yeah. tell yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you are! I'm looking at my like, second time that's happened. This is a good story, but ah, oh, there's no light! <laughs> we said we were going to have fun today. Yeah, we're having oh. fun. <laughs> okay, so really quickly, let's talk about the food for a second. Okay, can you pass so, the Chicken. Chicken parm is generally breaded. Thank you. Um, and ge- general breading procedure is flour, egg wash, and then the breading. Mm-hmm. Because this is keto and it's a low carb diet, we're actually going to just dip some chicken thigh in egg yolk, which will be enough to coat it. And then we're going to mix up some Parmesan cheese with the herbs we just cut up and some salt and pepper, and that's going to be our breading. Awesome. Awesome. That sounds really good. And so I was told by our GM, who thinks she's a keto expert, Ginger, that she is pretty much a keto. Chicken thighs are better source of fat and protein if you're on the keto diet as opposed to chicken breast. Is that accurate? Mm-hmm. Okay, she wins this one. If it's boneless. If it's boneless. Or skinless, skinless, I should say. Skinless, skinless yeah. Just because so we have a question. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, could you do a keto diet if you do not eat beef or pork? You can, but you have to plan it really well. Yeah. Can you do yeah. seafood? Can they do scallop, shrimp, haddock, salmon? Yes. Hot cheeks. I believe that this individual that's asking the question, it's Miss Patricia, who's a friend of mine. I believe that she does eat fish. So there's yeah. lots of other options. Yeah. Tons of other options. It's Absolutely. really difficult to do keto if you're vegan. Yeah, I know. I've yeah. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Just about everything else, you can make it work. Yeah. So how would you do that uh, like as a vegetarian? Do you eat a lot of cheese and avocado? Cheese and avocado, cream, butter. Yeah, you got to yeah. be willing to do some dairy. Yeah. Mia's in the house. Mia's in the house. I'm she's here. all she the way keto. from and she does keto. She's, she's Colorado. Colorado. Love it. Love it. She's awesome. Amazing. Okay. So I think that smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. That looks amazing. Too. And we have awesome. So in here we have a reg, fresh oregano, parsley, rosemary, and a little bit of thyme, and some salt and pepper. That's like the one thing I'm missing. It's just thyme. Yeah. <laughs> so we all need more. Someone has you can make a big batch of it and <laughs> then freeze it. You could. Yeah, you can. Really well. yeah. So the like, keto is a very trendy diet. It is right yeah. now, right? Yeah. Ben hates the word trendy. I do. Which ah, ben? Ah, it kills this his one. soul a little bit. Um, and so there's, whenever you see trends like this come out, you see a lot of misinformation and you see a lot of yeah. inaccuracies in the way people are actually uh, kind of executing the diet itself. Yep. So is there, are there some things that, or some, a little bit of advice you can give people who want to be on the keto diet but maybe don't know yeah. where to get the best information and what they should Absolutely. be doing? Mm-hmm. You got to you gotta do your research. And the biggest thing we talk about when we do keto is you got to be prepared to do keto. You yeah. can't just be like, oh, you know what, I read this online, I'm going to hop into keto and here we go, tomorrow I'm starting keto. You have no idea what you're going to eat. You'll end up just eating the same thing over and over and over again. And well, let's be honest, you get bored. Yeah. And it's not yeah. healthy. You need variety. Spice of life, right? So, yeah. So, this is why we actually, we've been prescribing keto. I've been prescribing keto for over six years now. Um, originally started working with athletes because with athletes, we use it to cut weight to get to competition when I was in Toronto doing sports med-based stuff. Um, but now we use it for weight loss, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, post-concussion. 
Alzheimer's, dementia, all that kind of stuff. Where so we actually created something called that. Keto Bootcamp, which takes an evidence-based medical approach to the ketogenic diet. And um, we have it, people do this all over North America now. Yeah. Through us. So it's trendy right now, and it's trendy for a lot of different reasons, but we've been doing it for so long and know the research behind it that we can get people in ketosis quickly so you don't get that keto flu which is what a lot of people actually talk about and what is that it is like basically sugar withdrawal you get headaches like your body transitions um from using sugar as its main source of energy um to fat and it doesn't like that so much um because we don't really like change as a person let alone as a body um and so ben's done a really good job at putting together this boot camp that it's fantastic. So, is there like a, a, a maximum amount of time that somebody should be on a keto diet, or is it? Or it depends if you're male or female. Yeah. Yeah. Females, you should only ever do max three months. Really? Because there's some research showing that it can negatively affect the thyroid if you're on it longer because of the hormone cascades and everything. And also, women should be very cautious and expect that if they do keto, their first two cycles are going to be hellish. Yeah. Hellish, like the worst cycle they've had. Again, all the things that we never talk about. On all the things. Well, here we go. Let's talk about menstrual. All right. To the table. So we <laughs> really need a white boy. I know we really, really <laughs> do. The diagrams that we could draw. The so diagrams we could draw. Is suitable for men. So for men, it, there is no research showing that has negative any negative effects. Generally, with keto, we're doing it for three months at a time, and then we pulse it with more of a healthy lifestyle eating. For yes. for what's the cycle? Like another three months, and then like, like three on body three weight. Off. So two days on, three days on, one on, one off. It depends on the person. Depends on the person. Generally, it's going to be so with females. We'll do it for three months. We'll put them on the paleo slowly, so it's not like oh, I'm done keto. I'm having a bowl of rice. I'm having my spaghetti dinner. I've been missing because then. You're going right you're back. Go to you're not shifting your you're lifestyle. You're going to go into shock. We're about shifting your lifestyle and making it being successful so you don't need to be doing keto all the time. Yeah. So just to clarify, yeah. you transition them to more of a paleo focus? Yeah. Paleo based and we up the carbs. So Is that what you say long term? Long term. Long term. 100% okay. paleo okay. long term. Paleo plus is or minus. incredibly whole foods based. Like we're not yeah. going ancestral paleo. Like you can't eat these hey, man, foods. Yeah. We're going really whole foods based, which is which is, you know, your kids can do it and your yeah. grandparents can do it and yeah. it's easy to shop for at the grocery store and if you don't plan something, it's not going to throw you off. Yeah. You can just wash your hands. And, I'm mess. There. and then the other thing too is even if, we're, even if we've transitioned you into paleo, we're still following an 80-20 rule. So you eat 21 meals a week, roughly. Mm-hmm. If you eat 18 of those clean, we actually don't care what you eat the other three. It's not going to be enough to negatively affect your health. So and that's if balance, all the meals right? were wine? Even <laughs> if all the meals were wine? It would be fine. Okay, I, that's a good. Was three meals were one. Yeah. So that's <laughs> then that's definitely something like that's uh, the opposite of a lot of information that I've heard on keto, which is that you can't kind of once you started, you can't leave it until you're off it completely. Like there's no kind of we, all, we don't like so there is eating. one theory where you eat keto six days and then you carb load on the seventh, that kind of thing. Yeah, we'll only do that if people are training at a high intensity. So like professional athletes. Stuff like yeah, that. if we need to, and for sure. professional and athletes. You, yeah. you hear lots of people talk about keto and intermittent fasting. Yeah. Is that... So it's that same, just like we talked about with the keto diet, it's that same, are you a male versus are you a female? Like, if you're a male, the research on intermittent fasting is absolutely fantastic. Like, it can help lower your risk of cardiovascular disease, like, it can prevent your risk of heart attacks, like, it can help you lose weight. But if you're a female, it's that same like three months thing. And so most really? of the time, yeah, it's, okay. it's the hormones because all of your hormones are built fat. And so if you're pulling your fat to use as an energy source, then you're running the risk of not being able to support your hormones. As well. So does anything different happen in menopause? Like Mia was saying, uh, what did she say? She said, Mia on keto plus menopause equals someone's gonna get it. <laughs> that's probably not the menopause. That's probably electrolyte deficiencies. Honestly. Honestly, okay. your brain chemistry changes. Um, serotonin levels tend to drop because okay. you're not eating carbohydrates. Carbohydrates increase serotonin. So when we're feeling sad, you get the bucket of ice cream out and you're crying into it, but it's making you feel better because carbohydrates that's literally how they increase salted serotonin. Caramel. Yes. yes. <laughs> Well done. That was really good, Ben. Yeah. 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 That was really good. Yeah. 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 Y
like that. I was losing control here. I gotta take back over. That's the clip of the night. There it is. There so it is. is for the average person out there who wants to lose weight or just get healthier in general, is yeah. there something that you would recommend over the keto diet? Yeah. Healthy lifestyles. Healthy lifestyles. Just there's healthy yeah. lifestyles. Like there is no drink, there is no pill, there is no supplement, there is I wish there was. If there was, I wish I invented it because I'd probably retire. Well, there's still time. time. There is still time. <laughs> a couple years um, left. A couple years late. <laughs> Just a few. But, like, there is nothing that substitutes for a healthy diet in the way that a healthy diet can benefit your body. And that's lifestyle. And it's making it a routine. Like, I work with a lot of brides. And they're going, like, okay, how do I eat for my wedding? And I was like, well, how would we think past your wedding? And be like, can you put stuff in place now yeah. that doesn't change after you get married? Mm-hmm. That just continues on we're talking about the same thing when people bring kids into their lives or when you know life shifts and then they're working nine to five jobs and it's how do you build it into a routine yeah it's just about creating the patterns and the consistency exactly we always present all options to patients and it's be like okay now let's talk about what will fit your lifestyle yeah keto is really difficult for our executives who are traveling all the time in and out of hotels it's so difficult to eat keto if you're not if you don't have a kitchen available. Yeah. yeah. Not saying you can't. I did it when I went to Europe, and all I ate was hard-boiled. Pe- <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's like, so good. I'm in pretty sure Europe. that's all I did for three days. I feel like you ate hard-boiled eggs. Yeah, I feel like you ate hard-boiled eggs. I don't think I would have done that. No, they weren't even that no, good. Oh, that looks amazing. So that's just the bottom or the first side. Look at that breading. That looks good. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Cool. Gorgeous. So one thing I um, some people do with this is they'll add in pork rinds. Oh, okay. So they'll crush yeah, up some pork okay, rinds. Okay, so here's the question. Do Where do you buy thing. pork rinds in Halifax? The grocery store. Grocery store. Yes. Asian I market. Yeah, Ginger Rones there now. Yeah. Yeah. Almost all of them in the international section, especially super international section. I went to the international section, section and they had no pork rinds. I could go buy them for you right now. I don't want them right now, but thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. They're there. They just started carrying the last probably six months. Like three weeks ago, and I couldn't find them. But I didn't really want to go ask somebody. Can you tell me where the pork? We're gonna eat this after, right? Uh, No, we just throw it away. Uh, (laughs) As soon as the camera goes off, I shut down. (laughs) (laughs) I get I get wheeled into a closet. I got a texture the other day. It was delicious. Really awesome. Yeah. No, no. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But people really do think like when they're talking keto, like this is gonna be really difficult, and we try and make it incredibly easy, which is here's how you calculate things, this is what we're looking at, here are the fat bomb recipes, like here's how so it gets at the end of the day. Let's talk about fat bombs for a second. Yeah. Right. Fat bombs. So explain this to me. So it's a pile It's just of like fat. a pile, a pile of fat. fat. Pile like if people so sit there with a spoon with a block of wire and just like... It would be the same thing. So you but, could actually... But it tastes better. But it's so much easier. <laughs> so you could just sit there and eat a... Mine, I guess mine is the sugar, but you could sit there and eat a tub of buttercream without sugar in it, essentially. Yeah. 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 That sounds disgusting. Although that is a little too much, well, butter, saturated fat. You have yeah. some. Generally, they're made of coconut oil. Okay. Because so the, one of the biggest mistakes people make on keto is they eat way too much protein. Not enough they, fat. And they do not get enough fat for the chemistry to work, the biochemistry. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're playing with biochemistry. So we know exactly how your body uses things and how it breaks it down, and we're just, we're going to tweak it. And we're going to optimize it, and we're going to hijack it as much as we can. I mean, if you need to know if you're in ketosis, you can go buy little ketosis strips. Yep. And you can test your urine. Exactly. Like, again, talking about the ketosis strips. Are they just litmus strips? It's basically the same idea. They're yeah. testing for the presence of ketones. They turn purple if they're. Yeah. If they're positive. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, this is gonna be pretty so good. So what's the sauce? Pretty yummy. Yummy. So it's just it's a very basic marinara sauce. Uh, you no can just, sugar. You could just use tomatoes, pureed, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this has sugar in it because I pulled it out of the fridge. But, uh, <laughs> generally. But, you know what? One of the things when you do, if you're looking to buy store bought um, tomato sauce and you're yeah. on keto, you have to be really careful because the labels are very different. Like, you can buy one that has three grams of carbs and you can buy one that has 24 grams of carbs and yeah. you have no idea the difference. And yeah. So, be really mindful yeah. of that because. Yeah. yeah. So, one I of the know. best exercises, Ben, you talked about, like, what do you do if someone just comes in and wants to lose weight? I actually just have them download a calorie tracker, like chronometer or my fitness mm-hmm. pal, and be like, I don't want you to change anything. I just want you to track. Because people start reading labels that brings awareness. They're like, what you just said. They're yeah. like, oh my God, this bottle of ragu has, you know, 24 grams of carbs or 12 of that sugar. Why? 
Yeah. People have no idea. Yeah. They're condensed tomato soup. has sugar in it. They're yeah. like, oh my God, it just brings awareness. Ketchup. And then we get to something which is a ridiculous amount of sugar. Amount of sugar. Amount of sugar. In second ingredient, right? Yeah. 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 So it just brings awareness. And as soon as you bring awareness, you have conscious eating, being like, what's going on in my mouth? Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah. It's like you just solved your own problem. Yep. Yeah. So. What's going in my mouth? Why? And, like, and I, I can say my mouth. wife downloaded one of those and it changed the way she ate. Completely. Like, yeah. It's just awareness. It's yeah. just awareness. That's yeah. all it and is. if you download that and you never end up in my office because you were able to do it by yourself, A plus. Yeah. Like, that's a win. Like, that's yeah. huge. Like, that's what it should be. But people tend to get so bogged down and be like, okay, I have to look at this and then I have to calculate that and I need to look at, like, all of these different things. Really, just look at the sugar content. And let's, if you're going to do keto, we're going to look at fat. But it's awareness more yeah. than anything. Big time. Yeah. Conscious eating, healthy lifestyles, sustainability. So, Simple. Okay, so talk about fat bombs again for a second. So we've had a guest on here who <laughs> insisted we make cookies. And afterwards... I have no idea who that is. Afterward, I was a great I show. I hear it doesn't work very well <laughs> with a uh, whisk. No, it doesn't. He's, he's on the keto diet as well. Awesome. Um, yeah. And he was talking about how he just eats piles of bacon. Now, that seems like it can't be good for you. It's, you're going to overdo the protein again. Yeah. You're going to get too much protein. Because you're rendering so much of the fat You're rendering out. a lot yeah. of the fat out. So that being said, read, yeah. said person's wife is also a medical professional. So... Also true. We're going to put that one So there. fat bombs. Back to fat bombs. <laughs> She's probably... So, you know, we have Miss Natalie. Miss Hi, Natalie. Chef just Hello, Len. Nice to so see you today. A whole, a whole Here we go. My wife says Ben's on fire today. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Which Ben? Oh. 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 <laughs> Dr. Dr. Ashley, I think that it was implied, but that's, that's fine. That wouldn't look, hold up in I'm, court, man. I'm just looking out. Wow. I'm just looking out. But, you know, like... It's, if you're going to eat a pile of bacon, then you eat a pile of bacon, but it's probably in conjunction with a lot of other things, and that comes back to what both of us have like said Like bacon now. and Brussels sprouts. It's great. So awesome. good. Delicious. Delicious. Totally yeah. Okay. So, what are... Flour with cheese and bacon. Mm -hmm. So, on the keto diet, obviously, you're staying away from carbs. Is there anything that has kind of hidden carbs that people would be surprised? Other than the ketchup? Yeah, like maybe not even like a processed thing, maybe just like a, a vegetable that people would be surprised. Has more carbs in it than Pretty much, we say nothing that grows below the ground. Your root vegetables, your root are what veggies, get right? Yeah. Gotcha. It's pretty much those ones. Other than that, it's pretty much fair game. Yeah. Which is where you start seeing that okay, three months out, we're going to go more paleo because then we're going to add in those root vegetables. So instead of going like, all right, I'm going straight for a plate of spaghetti, we're going okay, put the parsnips back in, put the carrots back mm -hmm. in, add the sweet potatoes back in. They're still incredibly nutrient dense. They're still incredibly good for you. They just are going to be what we modulate with as opposed to white bread. Mm -hmm. And can we talk about the paleo diet really quick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are the specifics of that? It's generally just there's whole foods, Grain, right? It's whole foods, but it's grain-free, sugar-free. Okay. That's Basically, the simplest way to Basically, anything you would buy it. at the grocery store that doesn't have a label on it is probably paleo. Yeah. Including yeah. your dairies and your proteins if you're doing full fat, no sugar added dairies. Yeah. And that's the one thing... Dr. Nashman and I, like, we hate labels. So, like, the keto diet, paleo diet. We talk labels because people understand labels. Yeah. But it all comes down to whatever way you want to package it and call it, it comes down to healthy eating. Exactly. Which is something, which is why we just tweak that to whatever you like and what you don't like. It's like, well, but unfortunately, the world loves labels. So, yes. yeah. We, well, puts things we in stick a, nice a label on it, right? People understand yes. it. So, and we used to be able to say, like, if you're going to go grocery shopping, A, you don't go when you're hungry. Because let's be honest, you go down the chocolate aisle when you're hungry and you're toast. I, I go to the grocery store when I'm hungry all the time. Okay, so you're probably the exception. <laughs> no, it's, no, 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 It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. No. I spend, I spend, I go to the grocery store and spend like three hours there regularly. Do and they I just know you by name now? Uh, no, because I go to different stores. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, your face I, isn't on the wall. I have like a like a cycle of like yeah, twelve, a circuit. twelve a different circuit. grocery stores, okay. and I'll go to multiple ones in a day. I love, I love grocery stores. That's awesome. So like I absolutely love grocery stores and I used to be able to like to walk people through and I'll still do it with people sometimes be like okay here's how you shop in a grocery store it's like they like, walk go in and, they're, the and you used to be able to say don't ever go in the aisles Not that's anymore. changing and so grocery stores are grocery actually stores changing they got how somewhere. they're structured <laughs> in order to make it really difficult to find things that used to be on the edge so 
now the easiest way is if it doesn't have a label on it, you're probably good. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be able to do perimeter shopping, and now Sobeys are catching on. So you go in and you do this little weird car loop, and yeah, and then you go down <laughs> to the grocery store. So it's yeah. yeah, they're catching on. Yeah, and so you're currently on a keto diet. Yeah, and you are. I feel like crap when I'm on a keto diet. Really? I think yeah. she die on a keto diet. And why is that? <laughs> it comes down to biochemistry, and it comes down to genetics. So it really is not a like a one. Oh, no, nothing is. Tell me one thing no. that is right. I fully like pushed it. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Did you get the twinkle? Did you get wow. the twinkle? <laughs> yes. Killing it. Well done. Yeah. I gotta get something underneath that just like is like bleh. Some just ridiculous thing underneath. Just a poop emoji goes something. Something like that. that. Yeah. Wow, wow. But like certain people don't feel good on a ketogenic diet, and that's okay. So I've given it a run for two months and felt like crap the entire time felt like I got out of keto blue, hit my fats, went over my fats, tracked it, and I was like, you know what? My biochemistry doesn't work for this. My genetics probably also don't work for this. So that's where it starts coming into play, and now we can click through and be like, okay, is it working because we're eating not the right way, or is it working because your genetics actually <laughs> change how you break down fat? Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, I laughed because Shepala said, my Nova Scotia Trinity is bacon, cream, and butter, so technically I'm okay, right? Yeah. Please, please. please. Yep. All good. Oh, Shep, you're All good. All good. good. You're good. Throw me some doner meat and you're awesome. Just no sauce. Just you no sauce. You'd no be sauce. fine with the doner meat. The doner sauce meat. will kill you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Oh. The doner meat or your roommates. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or your spouse. Awesome. Depending. Fresh right? I'm going to do just a fake plated one because they're not quite cooked. And then we'll throw the rest back in the oven. Uh, so, Dr. Ben, do you have a favorite keto recipe? So many. Brussels sprouts oh, and yeah. bacon with Parmesan and some truffle salt. So oh, good. Nice. Yeah. That would probably be my favorite because it just loads it up with tons of veg. You get a little bit of bacon, you get all your fat, you get the cheese, and it fills you up. Yeah. And the truffle just gives you that nice roasted cauliflower or cauliflower mash after roasting it with like heavy cream and mm -hmm. then some sort of protein plus fat on top. You actually take a whole thing of orson, a whole head of cauliflower. Oh, and, and stick you, it on top? And you, no, well you like, either you, you roast or you steam and you put it in the blender with the thing of orson. It is the most decadent oh, cauliflower nice. puree ever. Nice. Ever. Nice. Yeah, it's it super awesome. That's the thing about keto. You eat so rich. It's like, I really shouldn't be eating this. And you eat so yeah. little because it's so... <laughs> Is yeah. what fills you up. Yeah. Fat is what makes food taste good. Like if you take fat out of food, you have to replace it with something that tastes good, which is sugar. Like 100% of the time, you're putting sugar in. If somebody from the 80s got in a time machine and came oh here right gosh. now, yeah. they would be Low like, "What are you talking food. about?" Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which we now know was based on faulty research, yeah, exactly. right? So yeah. we're going with the evidence. We're going with the research, and and as the research changes, we adapt. Yeah. So there has been new evidence in ketogenic diets coming out in the last three months, a lot of it around women, and we've adapted what we've done to meet that research to meet our population's needs. So as it comes out, we tweak. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. I think we're just about out of time. Awesome. Uh, we're going to leave it those in the delicious. oven for another we're minute. And and yeah. just yeah. What is this again? Like just so it is a keto chicken parm, so it's a chicken thigh that's crusted with Parmesan cheese and herbs, uh, and then it's baked with tomato sauce. Mozzarella cheese and prosciutto. I guess speak for the whole audience and say it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells delicious. <laughs> Ashley, is there anything you want to throw out in the world before we end this episode? No, let's and have fun. I don't. What do you mean by throw? I don't know, do you guys have any promotions you want to talk about or anything like that real quick? <laughs> we you do. Getting, you getting two for one coupons? <laughs> two for <laughs> early bird <laughs> specials? <laughs> Um, what we'll do is we'll pop up a code for the Keto Bootcamp onto this video. So we'll link in at the end of the night and we'll awesome. throw in a coupon code for people if they want to join us on Keto Bootcamp. It's boot a two camp. for one coupon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> would 50% off be okay? I think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ben, do you have anything? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. yeah. Anything from you? Okay. No, you absolutely. I'm just happy to be here and have fun and looking forward to eating this food. Thanks for coming. Really nice so yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. And yeah. actually, where yeah, can they find where, you? Where are you where, located? Yeah. Website. Online. Oh. Check us out. Cornerstone Naturopathic and then Dr. Ashley or Ashley Madison. 
Yeah, Dr. Ashley Martinson and Dr. Ashley Martinson on Insta. Where's your clinic? Our so. clinic is located in Yarmouth, Bridgewater, oh, St. Margaret's Bay. Okay. And, and next week we are opening one in Halifax. So nice. we're going to be right, right on Spring Garden Road. Oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Find so. us in any location. <laughs> awesome. That's All right, awesome. guys. Yeah. So you've. You're obviously big fans of the show. Who isn't? Um, <laughs> oh so you know, oh three for three. <laughs> you know how it ends. Uh, every episode we end it by saying "chit chat chop" five times fast. Absolutely. And you guys, three times fast. No, it's five. Oh, they have to. Have you guys been practicing? No. Me either. Not Let's do this. Now. Adam will count us in. Three, two, one. Chit chat chop. 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 Chit chat. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday. Music's playing, they can sit here and just... This work feels great. Well done, well done. Lots of it, lots of it. 35 minutes of keto. I love it. I can go all day. Do you have any favorite keto websites? Rule of me is good. Yeah. I mean, I like the fat one for, I breathe, loss? therefore I'm hungry. Oh, oh it's so good. And I love really? the title. It's like, I breathe, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I'll check that one out. And that one's written. That one's female.